NerdErotic.com. Supergirl has been canceled. Season six will be its last, according to the CW. One thing is clear. We have one less show with characters talking about their feelings in hallways, talking about their feelings on rooftops, talking about their feelings in back caves that they stole. Now, I believe the CW superhero universe started out great, and then it turned into something that probably did irreversible damage to the genre as a whole, and we will talk about that. Supergirl will be taking her last flight. The CW and producers, Warner Brothers TV and Berlanti Productions, just announced that the drama series, it's a drama series, starring Melissa Benoist, will conclude with the upcoming sixth season set for premiere on the SJCW in 2021. It is the second series from the CW's DC Universe to come to an end following Arrow, which wrapped its eight-year run last season. And I have to admit, Supergirl lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. The ratings were dropping. The star is now pregnant. There is the coof out there. There's a lot of factors, but I think these all these shows benefited from the best economy in our lifetimes. And that economy is now over. And I think this is just the next domino to fall and by the way you're going to get this video one take tim pool style uh production on all 2020 and 21 broadcast series well, was delayed by the coof additionally supergirl has been targeted at a later start of production to accommodate the pregnancy of star benoist i hear the series is slated to begin filming in vancouver on september 28th that's just a few days away pending a deal with the local unions to comply with sag's testing guidelines and i've heard that is a problem with a lot of shows and that might factor in a lot of shows getting canceled we'll see which has been a sticking point for a number of hollywood productions there the series would initially be filming around benoist who would join the production i hear and um just a message to the canadian unions hollywood will find another place to film so you better accommodate don't be uh too hard on them or you will be without a job between the delays and supergirl's downward ratings trajectory i hear the producers the studio the network and benoist came to the decision that it was better to end the show with a long with a longer final season see benoist reaction to the news below so they're going to have a longer, I was going to guess they were going to have a shorter final season. So we will see. The creative team has started developing the storylines for the final 20 episodes. Yeah, that's a lot longer. The order is expected to be longer than most broadcast series this coming season, including the CW scripted shows, which will be launching in January and beyond. Supergirl starring Benoist is in the title role, debuted in October 2015 on CB CBS, joining the CW lineup for season two in October 2016. The most recent season five also starred uh, a bunch of people. Uh, there you go with a uh, special guest, John Cryer in season five, Supergirl faced threats. Are we going to recap the show? She Supergirl was a superhero and she faced Lex Luthor and did some stuff that I didn't see because I didn't watch it past season one. The show's gone. And again, it lasted l a lot longer than I thought it would. And it had its audience and obviously it was making money and it was garbage. It was absolute garbage. Worst dialogue I have heard on a TV show, and it has done damage to the superhero genre. Why? This is the impression a normie is going to have of the DC universe, not the DCEU, not the Snyder Cut, the CW or the SJCW Arrowverse filled with intersectional feminism, filled with identity politics, and it turns fans off and that's why you weren't growing an audience aside from the horrific storytelling and the cookie a cutter approach berlanti brought to superhero storytelling and that is the hollywood way they don't think about legacy they don't think about superheroes possibly being a steady flow of income forever and they just try to get that quick buck now and they're not going to put much effort into anything and that shows in supergirl and in batwoman now Batwoman's going to be around for another year, so we're going to get more reviews from Az and Mahler and Rags, and that's a good thing, but that's the only reason I want it to be around. I am a giant Superman fan. I love Superman, and I'm not going to watch this series on the CW because I know it's going to be Lois complaining about the wage gap, and, well, it's kind of hyperbole there, but uh, the one time I tuned into one of the crossovers, I hadn't watched the CW in quite some time. The one scene I watched was when Lois was complaining about the wage gap to Clark Kent. Lois Lane, the best reporter at the Daily Planet, was talking about a wage gap. She was probably the best paid person there. Uh, but that aside, it, and it was just dumb. 
it's dumb to bring that stuff in. And well, and then it became way more concerned with who was sleeping with who and who's going to be a member of the alphabet community. And by the end of season six, yeah, they said uh, the creative team is planning the next 20 episodes. I'm guessing they're just planning on making everybody a member of the alphabet community. Just go ahead and do it. What the hell? Broadcast television is dying. So I'm guessing we're going to see a lot more of these shows get moved over to HBO Max or I believe canceled because genre overall is expensive and I don't know if Hollywood can afford it for much longer. We just saw The Dark Crystal get canceled. And by all accounts, that was a decent show that people liked. I didn't like it very much. I love the movie, but I didn't like the show. That being said, Supergirl wasn't good. None of the CW is. And I blame the CW for overall lowering the bar in genre, in storytelling, and giving us Doctor Who in its current form, and giving us Star Trek in its current form. And now we're starting to see the consequences of prioritizing quantity over quality and prioritizing a certain audience that doesn't really buy anything and doesn't really participate in watching your show. So I look forward to Doctor Who and Star Trek following Supergirl in the next couple of years. Good riddance to all of you. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you heard, I thank you for listening this long. I will see you in the next video. Nerderotic.com. Please subscribe.